had a girl hit you. Uh, okay. <laughs> Hi there, um, I'm uh, talking to Stephanie El Hajj, yep. and you're the programme coordinator. coordinator okay, for the Drupal Association. Yes. I'm glad I've got that right. Um, and uh, perhaps you could just tell me uh, what you do before I get it all wrong. No, okay, so uh, what I do is I help plan DrupalCon, uh, and what I do from that end is uh, anything that's like the program based, so speakers, keynotes, trainings, all that stuff yeah. I coordinate. Uh, and then there's the website, so submitting your call for papers and call for trainings and making sure that the content up there is accurate. Uh, and then the volunteer management, so uh, my track chairs and stuff like that. Yeah. That's what I do. All right, so it's a hell of a lot of work because it's a yes. really big conference. How many, how many people have we got here this time? Uh, we have 3,300. Yeah, and that's the record, I think. New record. It? I think Denver was 3,100. Yeah, yeah, so it's a huge. Uh, huge attendance and you can see that on the photo that, that was going yeah. around in the internet. Isn't that great? Just, if you yeah. look at it, it looks like the DrupalCon is floating on top of the people. Yeah, and it's, yeah. it's amazing and um, I just about managed to find myself on there right at the back. I don't even know if everybody uh, fitted onto the photo. No, no. There were some people, people who didn't make so, it. Um, uh, so yeah, you've done a brilliant job and it was a, a huge you. amount of work. So um, what is it that um, the Drupal Association does? Just, uh, just in general. So um, the biggest thing they do is they make sure the Drupal.org servers stay up. So yeah. um, anybody can go and download Drupal and keep all the forums up and the issue queues. And, uh, that's the big thing. Uh, yeah. The second thing we try to do is cultivate the community. So Drupal would be nothing. It would just be a giant pile of code uh, unless there was users there developing it, using it, um, implementing it. Uh, and that's what we're for, is we need to make sure that you guys meet each other and talk together and get the opportunity to sprint and push the code forward. So yeah. we're here for the servers and for you. Okay. And then um, I noticed you're separated into permanent staff and then you have a board members and you also have a, is it an advisory board and then you have the board of directors as well? Yep. Okay. And, you, and you're part of the permanent staff? Yes. Okay. Right. What, just briefly, what's the difference between those three? Um, so the staff are the ones who are tactical on the ground, making things happen. Yeah. Uh, and then you have the board, who's the one who provides direction for us to execute on. And then you have the advisory board who comes in um, and they help support the board for, for like extra decisions. So if we need a task group to go and figure out a thing, they go and they work on that. They come to the board with their suggestion or their results and their findings. Yeah. Uh, and then the board makes decisions based on that. Okay, that's it. And um, Dries is the head of one of the boards. Which one's he? He's head of the board of directors. Board of directors, okay. He's the chair. Right, yeah, okay. It's all uh, uh, a little bit complicated yep. <laughs> to get your head I, I, I'm very new to the whole thing, so yeah. for me to uh, get my head around it is still... It's okay, I've only been uh, around for a year. And who's responsible for these moustaches? Uh, Holly is. She's our new executive director. Oh, I, I've met Holly, yeah. Yep. yeah. Maybe I'll get her on the interview. So, uh, yeah. they're, they're very stylish, as you can see. Yeah, I think they're nice. So, I had yeah. one guy put them on his eyebrows, and that was a little bit alarming, but he liked it. <laughs> I had one yesterday, and I had it... Um, for a while, and then I stuck it on my arm. Yep, and a little caterpillar. Yeah, and then this morning I um, got out of the shower and realised it was still on there. <laughs> so it's good, high quality stuff. It stays, yeah, yeah. It sticks on there for a long time. And if you had, if you've forgotten that it was there and you're wandering around Portland, I don't think anyone would look weird at you because that kind of stuff happens. Uh, they're the kind of people that wander around Portland. Yeah, they'd be like, he's got to have a good reason to have a blue moustache on his arm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And I did. I did. Yeah. I did. Yeah. Yeah. Well. Uh, um, Thanks for uh, organising the whole thing. It's been it's, it's really great here, and uh, it's really I'm, well organised. And um, uh, thanks for the interview. Nice yeah. to get to know you. Good to meet you. Thanks. <laughs>